all of you hope you guys are great so in the last video we have learned that how we can write something into our smart contract using the use contract write hook by third web so if you haven't watched the last video make sure to watch it because that one is a very important concept which you have to clear when it's come to writing something in the contract using the third web in this video we'll focus only on retrieving data from the contract using the third web and it's one of the hook and how we can modify the data as per our requirement to display into our front end so here I'm into my context file index.js and in that I'm going to write the functions. We are done with the very first function. Let's call this get property data section. Okay. Now what we can do is we're going to create a variable, create a function. So we'll say get property data and it's a functions. It's going to be an async function async function and that we're not going to pass any argument because we are retrieving the data and here what we have to do is we have to create this try and catch block so we have to catch any type of error is happening in the code so we'll say error while loading data and we'll log the entire error object now what we have to do is let's take a variable we'll call it properties we'll say await we call this contract dot call and in that we have to pass the function name the contract name the function we have in the contract for getting all the properties so we have two methods to call the function one the one we have used in the last video and this is the second one using the contract and calling the call method and passing the function so let's call the function so this is the function we have if i come here go to the contract so let's come here go to the web3 inside the contract and this function this particular function get all properties will give us the entire property we have in the contract so that's the one we're going to simply call it pass here and this way we can retrieve the data now what i will do i'll simply come here and i'm going to simply console log out the entire data to show you things are working fine now we have the property simply take that and pass here in the value so we can call in the index page let me give this comment read property data so come here and now we're going to simply call the function simply close this one close this one close this one and here we're going to take a variable so let's define a section called read data or get data so we'll say const we'll call the function call fetch properties it's going to be an async function and we'll take this set is loading to true when the data is coming and after that we'll define that one data wait we'll call the function so let's call here get the function get properties data copy that one and that the function we're going to call it here once we have the entire data we have to simply set that data to our state variable called set properties and in that we're going to pass the entire data after that we have to turn off the is loading state we'll sorry false so this is the function we have and we're going to call this function whenever someone reload the page the index page okay so let's come here take a use use effect and we have two things so whenever any changes will take place in the contract at that time we have to call the function and whenever someone someone changed their wallet address at that time we have to call this function so we'll say if contract exists then we have to call the function Okay, and here we're going to pass the argument. So we want to call this function like whenever the address change and the contract change. And this will give us the data. Hope this entire thing makes sense. Just a normal JavaScript logic. Nothing related to the smart contract. So we are ready to go and check this one. So we have the property. Now let me console log out the properties. We'll pass the property and save it. Come back to the browser and you can see we are fetching the data and it will take time you can see because we are fetching the data from the contract and we have created this three property and here we have it if you open that one you will have the entire properties in arrays and if i open this one you can see that this data is not in proper arrange proper properly arranged so we have to rearrange this data in such a way so we can display into our front end so last, last, right, right now it's getting repeated in terms of index and in terms of category in terms of field name so we have to rearrange this entire data 
and i hope you guys can understand that how powerful it is to read the data from the contract using third web now things are looking fine everything is working absolutely incredibly well here now what we can do is close this one and come back here where we are fetching the information and the context and now let's modify the data so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a variable called parsed properties and that we have to pass the properties map we're going to loop over it properties i and it will be an object return we'll take the honor and we'll have the property dot honor okay we are simply modifying the data whatever data we need we'll take the another title property property title we'll have the description we'll say property description after that we'll have the category we'll have the property category then we'll have the price and we have to convert the price in ether so format ether in that we have to pass the property price and we'll pass the to string so it will convert that into a ether now after that we have to pass the product id so it will be the product id with capital d and we have to convert that into a number after that we'll take this reviewer because our property will contain the reviews and those who have given the review and this information we need when we'll display the like user interest so we'll call reviewers and it will return an array so we'll say property dot reviewers after that we have to get the reviews you can call it comments we'll say property dot reviewers and after that we have to take the image property dot images and the last one we have the address property dot property address so all of this information we are taking we are formatting in a better way so we can display in our front end so that looks pretty fine and at the end we're going to simply return the parse properties that's the one thing we have to return so this will give us the data the way we want it so looks pretty fine to me now come here reload the browser and you can see it will take a little bit time and finally the data is here open that and now the data is in well formatted object if you open that one you can see we have the address category we have address category description image honor price we have the honor price product id reviewer reviews title everything is working absolutely fine everything is working fine so we have the data we are getting all the properties and our front end parts and that's what we're going to utilize it for rendering the data so please remove this one so we are done with this two function hope you guys understood that how you can read data from the contract using the third web and that looks pretty fine and this is the first one create properties and this is the one so thing i want to cover in this video hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys and you guys have understood the way we have built the logic for retrieving data in the next video we'll go a little faster and we'll try to build the entire functions entire function for making calls updating pricing review all of the things so the next video is going to be a little huge because in that we're going to cover all the function we have in the contract and we're going to write in our context so let's move to that